We are joined today by Joe Pekarski, Manager of Business Process Improvement of Intel. We're going to talk about process standardization and optimization. Joe, can you talk about what drove Intel Finance to move from a functional view of process to a true end-to-end view of process? Yeah, it was a couple things. One was uh, obviously we wanted to reduce costs, so we wanted to see as we standardized and centralized things with the shared service centers that we could reduce costs that way, as well as we wanted to become more predictive to say, okay, we, we know our processes are working well, we are staying on top of things, and we're not, we don't have as many diving catches. And what's the most challenging as- aspect of developing a process inventory? Uh, I like to tell people it's always more of an art than a science because people, people come to us and say, okay, I want to document my processes. Give me, give me the magic to do it. And what it, what it really comes down to is you've got to just talk with people and understand how they do their processes and just kind of find those natural beginning and end points and touch points and, and document that. So I think the challenge is Every case is slightly different, and you just really need to work with the people who know the process to fully understand it. And, um, you know, you talked about uh, how you integrate uh, the Intel finance with um, the job of keeping Intel legal, that that's that's you guys' number one goal. What is the key to to, to getting that done, of integrating BPM with your number one goal? Uh, it really goes hand in hand because with BPM, one of the, the big things is you've got a really high quality output and you've got ways to measure that and to understand are we meeting that or not. And, and that goes hand in hand with keeping Intel legal because at a high level, if we're missing a deadline or if we're not following an accounting standard as we should, you know, we're, we're going to get uh, challenged by it by the government regulators. So it, it's, it goes hand in hand in that as well as BPM helps us become more efficient at doing our Keep Intel legal job, which allows us to, you know, continue doing more value-added things for the organization. And for Intel, for Intel what's, what's the role of, of Six Sigma as far as getting all this done? Is it, is it more important or less important than other aspects of it? Uh, it's one of the tools we use. Uh, we use Six Sigma. We use Lean. Uh, one of the things we, we tend to find in some of our processes in finance is we, we just don't collect enough data to really good make good statistical conclusions. So where we do, we do use Six Sigma. Where, we, where, where it doesn't really fit, we'll use more like Lean Concepts, uh, Kaizen events to help improve our processes. And uh, a final thing, in your opinion, what's the thing that that's gonna that makes BPM last? Where you say, "Hey, we've we've got this, and we've we've had success, but a year down the road, or two years down the road, it's still working, it's still successful, and you're pushing forward to make more gains." Uh, it's continued management support and endorsement of it. Uh, it's one thing for management to kick off a project or program to go do it, but if there's nothing put in place to keep that tension in the system, to make sure process owners are, are doing their job, uh, to have regular feedback to management to say, here's how our processes are working, over time, like anything, people are going to lose interest and it's going to start start backsliding. So it, it's making sure senior management is an active supporter of it and that senior management's put in the appropriate resources to help them manage that and for senior managers last question how big how big of an of an issue that you you touched on in your in your great presentation of making them understand what it is and the benefits of it hmm yeah, I mean, it's first of all is sharing the the wins and the successes we've had over time. Uh, some of it is having that peer-to-peer discussion. So if there's a senior controller or someone in, in corporate accounting has already done it, have that person sit down with the senior controller in another organization and says, here's what I've gotten out of it. Here's the benefit our organization has seen. And then it's, you know, then it's us as consultants working with internal consultants, working with them to, to help them. Um, and then actually have those senior controllers of the new group are going into sell it to their organization as opposed to me as an 
internal consultant coming in and trying to sell it to the organization, if they see that their management chain is actively behind it and supporting it, it goes a long way to uh, getting it adopted.